7 inch laptop much like the um, first Galaxy Tab comes with a 1.5 gigahertz processor 1 gigabyte of internal RAM an SD card 32 gigabytes of storage Wi-Fi 3G and um, a 5 megapixel camera at the front a 1.3 meg megapixel camera at the back or well, on the screen so very interesting device um, because um, it is uh, HTC's first attempt at the tablet and HTC is known for their very very well built mobile phones and this is no exception so we're going to take a look at the device the software and the hardware that comes with it let's just unbox it here there we go package nice inside pull here there we go let's not let's not drop it like we did with the zoom so let's see here it is um there you go seven inch device on the back it has the nice logo the big camera this is very much like the HTC desire you can actually see the camera is sticking out so I hope they'll that there'll be cases for this the nice unibody design we know and love from the HTC devices is very very well built now seven inch um, is a kind of a strange form factor to use but when you use it in uh, this way you have a little bump here see that and that n grips in nicely with your finger so when you're holding it like that it's actually quite comfortable to work with and you can even hold it in one hand like this and use it that way and seven inch isn't such a crazy size it's not really big but it's not really small either so um, I was a little bit disappointed with the size but I thought like hey we'll see what it does and we'll see where it goes now the HTC desire uh, the HTC flyer sorry comes with one special attribute a stylus if you take a look at the promo videos you'll see that this device is ideal for taking notes and recording voice sessions and stuff like that so we'll see if it really really is as good as they say it is because this is a device where we can talk a lot about the hardware because it basically only has one port this is the mini USB port and the headset port and that's it the SD card is on the inside of the device so we're gonna take a look at the software when we uh, start up the HTC flyer we immediately see what is special about this device because other than most tablets on the market Android tablets on the market right now the HTC flyer still comes with Android 2.3 honeycomb the latest version released by um, uh, HTC on their phones the uh, 2.3 has also been released for the desire and also for the HTC flyer and that's actually a little bit disappointing now the device is extremely fast as you can see and the screen resolution is actually quite good I go to portrait mode when I go to a landscape mode in an application let's just see here um, just put up an application doesn't really matter which one and that works in portrait mode preferably um, let's see applications are out here let's just take the calendar here put that in portrait mode yeah that doesn't work either I mean okay it's it's very early I haven't had my coffee yet so I'm uh, I'm really struggling here to find an application that works in portrait mode <laughs> not good uh, let's see I haven't connected it to the wireless network yet but oh come on this is ridiculous um, I've, I haven't enabled the auto rotation yet but it does work in portrait mode quite well actually um, so um, actually not so bad to work with now as I said one of the killer features of this device should be this stylus this should actually turn this tablet into a mini notebook and this is starting to remind me of a Star Trek pad um, it's nice to write on it's nice to use in portrait mode uh, and it does have that extra stylus functionality and we're going to demonstrate that right away we're going to go to the notes app and as you can see I've already tried to write something I'll see if I can uh, write some more here what you basically have is you'll have your stylus menu here and you can just scribble away in the notes section of the um, of the entire application let's see if we can uh, can pull something up because you do have to select 
what you're going to draw with using the stylus. And I'll just try to see if I can write. There you go. Hello, how are you? Now, it does work really well, but the killer thing is up on top of here, there are certain buttons. So what you can do is tap this button, and you have to do this with the pen, and start recording audio. Now, while you're recording audio, let's say you're in a conference and you're recording audio or in, in a meeting and you go like, yeah, at five o'clock, he said uh, to, uh, my boss reminded me to pick up trash. And the meeting goes on and on and on and on and on. Now, at the end of the meeting, you press the record button again. And as you can see here, there's a little marker here. Now, when I press play, do this with the pen and start recording audio. Now, while you're recording audio, let's say Look you're at the pointer here. Conference and you're recording audio on the, in a meeting and you go like, yeah, at five o'clock, you said uh, to uh, my boss reminded me. You see, it actually keeps track of the audio recording and the thing that you're doing on the screen as of that moment. You can also insert uh, images pretty easily. Let's just uh, insert an image here. Uh, and it works really, really well. So in all, it's a great device to use. The weight is pretty okay. The stylus is cool. You can actually make screenshots and use the stylus to annotate those screenshots. And especially when you take a look at the book reading application that is on there, we're not going to get into detail too much. Uh, you can also use the stylus as a marker to mark or annotate your books. And it is, uh, it does come to my attention that HTC is very much looking towards this stylus to make the difference in selling this device. Now, um, I don't know if they're going to succeed. I've tried writing on it. And because of the surface that is pretty, you know, hard and non-resistive, it's a glass surface, and the stylus that is hard, that is a hard plastic, it is kind of strange. The stylus is pressure sensitive. The harder you push, the thicker the lines are that you write in, which is nice. Um, and the audio function is certainly very interesting. You can also make snapshots, put them into those annotations. But the question is, is this enough? Because the one thing that differentiates this device, it's also very reflective, as you can see, the one thing that differentiates this device from its competition is the fact that you can indeed use the stylus and have applications that support this stylus. But is it enough? I mean, is this the one tablet that isn't really a tablet, but is more like a digital notepad? Well, to me, it sounded very interesting. I thought like, you know, stuff like this, uh, a device like this with the note taking application, that could be my digital, you know, pad for taking notations. And it would be rather nice. And it does fit in your hand quite well, quite stably. It's well built. Um, so it's pretty rough and tough. And if you want to watch movies on it, you can just use the portrait mode. So that's OK. And you can read books on it and annotate the books. But, you know, all of this has to be the stylus because as a tablet per se, it's not enough. Uh, HTC will release Android 3.1, at least I hope they will, for this device. But at this point, it's only 2.3. Um, and the stylus, yeah, yeah, if it really works, this could really work for you. I mean, if the stylus and the note-taking applications uh, are uh, functional and, quite frankly, once you get used to writing on it, they are. It's a fast device. It's a well-built device. The application of the note-taking writes uh, works quite well if you're used to it. So is this something I should buy or I wanted to buy? Well, in order to answer that question, we have to take a look at the price. Tablet-wise, it's one of the fastest, well-built 7-inch tablets that are out there at the moment. Operating system-wise, it only sports 2.3, while the rest sports 3.1. We can live with that. Hardware-wise, very, very well built, very good weight. Size-wise, well, actually, not bad. Um, it's not your main tablet, but this could be your, your note-taking tablet. But then we come to the price, and we don't have a price on this baby as yet, but they are looking at over 500 to 600 euros, and that's too much. I... And I honestly don't know why uh, uh, tablet manufacturers who are momentarily producing alternative uh, tablets 
still go over uh, Apple's price point. Sure, there might be more functionalities on here than on the Apple iPad, but come on, people, this is a 2.3 uh, gingerbread device with 7 inches. You can't sell this over 600 euros. That's just too much. Because if you look at it this way, right, right now, software-wise, and we skip the note-taking application, which is only an application. That's a functionality that can be added to any Android device. Well, this is a big Desire HD, and that's about it. You can't make phone calls with it. It does come with a data card, but you can't make phone calls with it. But this is a large phone at the moment. So, uh, bottom line, would I buy this device? Yes, I like it. I would certainly use it to replace my Sony PRS ebook reader because now I would be able to take notes on those books and mark sections that I liked. Now I'm somebody who really learns by marking sections of text and then remembering those. So that is a functionality that I would love to have. If HTC would release this stylus and the software for any other tablet, I would absolutely buy it. If this were available on the iPad, I'd be perfectly happy. So bottom line, I would buy this device if it were cheaper, but for the rest, it's awesome. Uh, dear HTC, put 3.1 on it, drop the price about 100 euros to bring it around 500 euros, and you've got yourself a killer, killer, killer device. Because hardware-wise, there's nothing more sturdy on the market than this HTC flyer. Software-wise, there is unfortunately no, nothing more retarded out there except those 7-inch Japanese tablets that come at about 100 euros and still sport Android 1.6. But uh, at the end, a pretty good device. A little bit disappointed at price and um, operating system. Very well surprised at the little stylus and the applications that come with it. This is more like a working tablet, not an entertainment tablet, but you know that's all depending on how you use it. But there is one more flaw, one final flaw, one little flaw. Device, very nicely built. Stylus, very nicely built, has two buttons, one to make screenshot, screenshots, sorry, one to right click, very nice stuff. I think, look, you can see uh, HTC, you can't see it like that. Let me see, uh, look very carefully, it even has HTC on the pen there you go so very detailed very nice sturdy um but you know where do you put the pen where do you put the pen this is not a pen this is not one of those cheap cheap styluses that you buy this has a bluetooth receiver this has two buttons this has a pressure sensitive tip where do i put it i put it in my pocket i put the tablet somewhere i lose the stylus i have to buy a new stylus stylus will be expensive so Come on, I mean, you could have seen to a little slot where I could slide it in. That's kind of dumb, but you know, well, that's that's the flyer for you. So this is certainly uh, HTC's first attempt. I will undoubtedly be uh, taking a look at the 10-inch version when it comes out. I hope they do an upgrade to 3.1. But my final conclusion is this device looks great. Buy it. Not right now. Hold off a little bit until the operating system gets upgraded, perhaps until the price drops a little bit. But until then, I was impressed and disappointed at the same time with the HTC Flyer. Once again, thanks to the people from uh, PHC in uh, Eindhoven for letting us play with this device. And we surely loved having it. We don't actually are cry we won't be crying all morning when we have to bring it back, but we did have a good time with HTC's first tablet device, the HTC Flyer. Okay, that's all we have time for today. I hope you uh, seriously enjoyed those two reviews and I hope you appreciate the fact that I got up a lot earlier than I normally get up. I even got up a half an hour earlier to do those for you. So I hope you appreciate that. I want to say thanks to the guys over at PHC and Eindhoven again for giving us the opportunity to take a good look at these devices and tell you guys about it. So if you are in the Belgian Dutch uh, German area, because Eindhoven is pretty regionally located, you know where to go. PHC and Eindhoven, great store, great guys and uh, big geeks over there as well. So you might want to check that out. So that's all we have time for. Uh, I only can uh, tell you about the KWTV media feed, the nightwise.com media feed. If you don't 
don't already know about that, we, uh, aside from the KWDV episodes, also do a podcast and a docucast, which means that we push out a PDF in a RSS feed that you can subscribe to. Subscribe to that feed and